Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a video about luxury bags that I have sold and I was actually going to upload a different video before this, but um, after I did my handbag collection video, a lot of you guys had questions about bags that you didn't see anymore in there. And I did a poll on Instagram asking if you wanted to see a um, designer shoe haul video or if you guys wanted to see this video and an overwhelming amount of people wanted to see this video. So, so I will go ahead and do this one first. I'm actually kind of excited about it because some of these bags I sold a while back and I haven't talked about them yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with the one that was asked about the most frequently, which is my Hermes Kelly bag. So insert a picture of me with my Kelly bag. Um, that way you guys can see which one I'm talking about. It is the Kelly 28. It was a vintage bag. I believe it was made in like 1986. If not, I'll correct myself on here, but I think it was 1986. Um, so it's an older bag. I bought it from Fashion File. I believe it's actually still available on Fashion File because I sold it back to them as well. My original idea was to sell the bag to put the money toward another Birkin and I just felt like I'd use it more. But I don't remember exactly what I bought after I bought that. I think I might have just sold it and kept the money from it. And the reason that I decided to sell it was because it just really didn't fit my style anymore. Um, in the past like four or five months, I've been kind of in more of like an edgier type of style. And that bag just really didn't fit it, especially with the box leather. I feel like if it was a different type of leather, maybe it would have gone a little better or a different color. But with the black, with the gold hardware, it was so beautiful. It's such a classy and classic bag. I just I loved it. I think it's amazing for like practical reasons too, since it does have that crossbody strap. I think it was just at a time where it didn't really go with my style anymore. Um, before I was dressing more kind of plain and more of like a, like it was like super girly, very plain, very like not a lot of colors, um, really puffy sleeve type of outfits, like very, very girly. And so that bag fit perfectly into my style when I bought it. But then after a little while, once my style started changing, which my style changes, I would say like probably like twice a year normally, <laughs> like it happens a lot. So, so that's why my bags are always changing. That's part of the reason. So I sold that bag because it just no longer fit into my wardrobe and I do really miss it. I would get another Kelly in the future maybe, but I just think right now it doesn't, it doesn't fit. So I've looked at a lot of colors. I really like a lot of different Kelly bags, but I just, I think I'm honestly a Birkin girl. Like I think that if I have to choose, I'm going to choose a Birkin every time I have two Birkins and now I have no Kellys. <laughs> um, but I think that if I were to get another Hermes bag, it would be another Birkin. And I don't, I don't really have a Kelly on my wish list anytime soon, maybe one day, but no time soon. The next one, which surprisingly nobody asked about, maybe no one really liked this bag that much, but <laughs> it was my Chanel Stingray bag. Um, it was a Chanel boy. It's pink. I'll show you guys a picture of me with that bag. Um, I thought it was really cute. I love this bag. This is actually my very first Chanel bag that I ever bought. I purchased it at the beginning of last year and I bought it because it was a really good price on Fashion File. It had gone down to, I think, 30% off of the price because it had been on the site for quite a while. It was an exotic and Chanel no longer makes exotic. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to get this one. This would be a nice first Chanel bag. And then I never really wore it. So I like the color and in theory, this is a great bag, but as far as mixing it in with any of my outfits go, whether it was like my older style then or my style now, it just didn't go with anything. Like honestly, I just could not work that thing into an outfit to save my life. So I just ended up not wearing it a lot. I actually have a pair of shoes that matches that bag. Never worn them either. Uh, just because it's it's that pink color and I just I couldn't work it in and it was just not worth it for me anymore So I ended up selling that one to put money toward my Birkin 30 So that ended up working out pretty well. I think I sold it for maybe like a little over like $2,000 So I put that money toward the Birkin 30 which was perfect because you know, that's expensive and that's a bag that I really really love So it was just more worth it to have that bag to me than it was to keep that Chanel Stingray bag, even though I think that it's super unique. I love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. And if it were just like some unlimited collection where I would just keep everything, even if I didn't wear it, I would keep it because I think it's gorgeous. But I don't do that. I don't like to keep bags that I don't wear. Like, so I am quick to sell something if I do not use it. That is one thing about me. So my collection is never going to be like the same bags over and over again. As my style changes and as I don't wear a bag, I am going to get rid of it as soon as possible to put toward a different bag that I I will use because I firmly believe in using my items and I buy most of my items used anyway so I think that it's really great to kind of like put it back into the cycle of used bags and somebody else is gonna use it and I think that it's just kind of a cool cycle so yeah I'm pretty quick to sell bags that's one thing about me <laughs> 
Okay, I don't know if anybody noticed these two were gone either, but they were my two Louis Vuitton Alma bags. I had one in black and one in red. These I actually did not sell, but these were bags that I used to carry to work all the time. Um, I actually love both of these bags. I didn't sell them, but they weren't in the collection video because I actually gave them to my grandma. Um, she has been like kind of hesitant on buying new bags and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, why don't you take these two since I'm not going to the office anymore. I was like, why don't you take these two? They fit her style pretty well. I love them, I think they're great bags. Um, I actually bought both of them on eBay and for like roughly $500 a piece, I think, maybe a little bit less. So they were a really good price. They're epi leather and I figured that they fit her style pretty well. So I took those over to her house and she's been kind of rotating them and using them a little bit, which is nice um, because somebody's using them. Otherwise they would be my closet because they're really bags that I just like to take to work. Like that's my main purpose for them. I like to take them into the office and they just look like office bags to me. That's how I feel about them. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna like be taking them to dinner and taking them out um, to go out and stuff like that. Or I mean, not that I've really been going that many places, but <laughs> I wasn't gonna use those bags for those purposes anyway, going to the mall, going to the store, like running errands. I'm not gonna use those bags for that. So it's better that she has them because she will actually use them. <sighs> I think they're touring the apartment next to me and I'm kind of sad. Like this is super random, but I just heard people in the hallway, but I think they're touring the apartment next to me. I haven't had neighbors in a long time. Like, and, which is amazing because not that I make a lot of noise here, but it's kind of nice to know that I'm not like bothering anyone. <laughs> and also it's kind of nice to know that nobody's bothering me. And I think that they are touring the apartment next to me. So I might end up having a neighbor, you guys. Like, I'm sorry, this is completely unrelated, but I was like one of the first couple months that the building was open, I moved in here. And so at first I was one of the only people on my floor. So that was really cool because no one ever bothered me and I never saw anyone in the elevators or in the hallway and it was amazing. And now there's people moving into this building because it's been like over a year. <laughs> so now there's people moving in here, which is good for the building and stuff like that and the community and all of that. But I liked being alone up here. It was nice. <laughs> Okay, so next up, I'm gonna talk about a bag that I tried to sell, but I actually did not sell. Let me go get it, actually. All right, here she is. So this is the Speedy 30 Bandolier. This is a bag that I've had since about 2015. It's one of my first designer bags. I think it's actually the second designer bag that I ever bought. Um, I bought it from Fashion File a long time ago, and I did talk about this bag in my handbag collection video, so I'll keep it kind of short. But I'm gonna mention it because I tried to sell this bag. So I sold it to Rebag, and then they sent it back to me saying that it wasn't in good enough condition for them to resell, which is understandable. It does have some wear and tear to it, so that's fine. Like, it's none of their fault or anything like that. So they sent it back to me, and I am actually really glad because I'm glad that I keep still have this in my collection. Especially because I, I just saw this today, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I saw someone post that the canvas bags on Louis Vuitton are going to have another price increase. So right now the website is showing like basically sold out for anything that you would actually want. So I'm thinking that they're holding off until that price increase happens to put the items back on the site so you can buy them again. I don't know, allegedly, this is all just speculation. I don't know this, but I feel like that might be what's going on. So I'm kind of glad to have a classic in my collection since I did sell my Neverfull. And I'm not going to lie, you guys, I'm kind of wanting a Neverfull GM again just for like, you know, I just I just kind of want it. But anyway, that's besides the point. But this one, <laughs> but this bag, I'm kind of glad to have it with me because I paid so much less for it than what it's going for now. And especially after the price increase, it's going to be even more money. So I'm kind of glad that I still have it because I feel like I'm still going to use it. And even though I didn't use this bag for quite a while, I think that I'm like coming back into loving it again. And this is gonna be one that'll stay in my collection. I've tried, like, like I said, I tried to get rid of it. I tried to sell it, but it came back to me. So I feel like that means something. It still wants to be in my life. So I'm gonna keep it in my life. <laughs> okay, so the last bag that I sold is a bag that I did not have for very long at all. And it was my Pico 10. A lot of people asked about the Pico 10. Um, and so they miss it because they didn't see it in the handbag collection video. I did sell it and I did put the money toward the Birkin 30, I think. I put it toward something, but I think it was toward the Birkin 30. I really liked the Pico 10 actually. And I think that if it wasn't for me like wanting the Birkin 30 so bad, that I would have kept the Pico 10 with no questions asked. I think that that one just kind of came down to, hey, like which one do you want more? Even though the Pico 10 didn't cost nearly as much, I used that combined with some other bags to put toward that Birkin 30. So I was like, okay, it was kind of like a cost benefit type of thing. Like, all right, I can get rid of the Pico 10 even though I love it, put the money toward another bag because that's gonna be smarter because I'll use it more. 
And I think that the, I think that, that was honestly a good choice because the Pico tin fit really well with my old style when I was wearing like really cutesy stuff, very girly type of style, and it was so cute with everything. And I tied like the twillies with a little bow on them, and I think it was just adorable. But I think that it wouldn't fit as well with my style now. So I'm even though I didn't know that that was gonna happen, I'm almost glad that it happened that way because now I probably wouldn't be using that bag as much if I did have it still. So I'm glad, but also I really miss that bag because I think it's gorgeous, I think it's so pretty. And when it comes in the bright colors too, I almost do wish that I bought it in a bright color, even though I feel like I maybe wouldn't have worn that that much either, I don't know. But <laughs> I love, love, love the bright colored Pico tins. I don't know if any of you guys have those, but I think that those are just the most beautiful things ever that I probably wouldn't be able to fit into my wardrobe myself, but I just see them and I appreciate them so much and I have so much respect for people who are able to fit them into their wardrobe because I think they're beautiful. The Pico Tin is probably my, one of my favorite bags from Hermes. I honestly like the Pico Tin better than I like the Kelly. And I know that that's like a weird thing to say, I feel like, but <laughs> Birkin is my favorite. And then I would say Pico Tin and then I'd say Kelly. So I, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And trust me, I miss it too. A lot of you guys are saying that you miss the Pico Tin from my collection, I miss it too. But honestly, I think it was the best choice for me considering I got a bag that is my favorite bag in my collection. So I think that it ended up being worth it. But yeah, I don't think I'd be wearing it that much anymore now. So it was probably for the best. But I hope that somebody is has it now and is enjoying it and loves that bag because I'd rather have somebody have it in their closet that's actually gonna wear it than for it to sit on my shelf. <laughs> oh, and those are all the bags that I have sold and why. Those are my recent ones. I did an older video like this about bags that I've sold. If you guys wanna watch it, I will link it above and I'll put it in the description box as well. Uh, that way you guys can see some of the other bags that I've sold, but these are my recent ones. So yeah, I just thought I'd get you guys all caught up. Um, <laughs> if you guys have any video ideas for me, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to do them. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Also, if you want to see how I style my bags, shoes, accessories, all that type of stuff, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. It is swanxdawn, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>